Hello people, welcome to GMATing, my name is Mukul and today I'll be showing you how to tackle mixture and allegation problems on the GMAT. Mixture is a basically uh, is a fairly basic uh, concept in arithmetic and it's also very useful in solving problems in averages and percentages. Uh, okay, so why this lecture? So, so basically uh, if you take up any book and go to the mixture section you would almost always say that uh, see that they they tend to solve these problems by using complex equations and fairly complex algebra which is not really required so what i'm gonna tell you today is how to solve them pretty easily by using a pictorial representation of the problem so basically i'll be showing you uh, uh, i'll be demonstrating you a trick through which you can uh, solve most of the problems fairly easily uh, so what I've done here is uh, we have we'll have a blank page in the beginning where I'll go through the basic concepts of mixtures and allegation. Then we'll move on to next pages where I have put more problems. So these problems are in increasing order of difficulty, and some of them are taken from the official guide. So I'll go through them one by one and I'll demonstrate the uh, technique to you and. Uh, so basically you'll see that most of these problems will be solved very quickly by using the technique which I'm gonna tell you today so this is gonna be a long lecture so it's gonna be around half an hour or so so and at any point of uh, time if you think that uh, this is going beyond your comprehension maybe you can leave that because it's in the increasing order of difficulty so uh, you can you can start the video and and at some point of time if you think it's it's tough you can you can stop at that you can go back to your notes and then come back uh, so okay so uh, let me start okay so if uh, so what's a mixture okay so mixture is it's basically when you mix two things or for that matter you mix three things or more than two things so you can mix two pure uh, ingredients and uh, or you can mix two or more mixtures so so for example you can mix alcohol and water so water is a pure sub uh, ingredient pure component alcohol is a pure component or you can mix two mixtures so these mixtures can be let's say you have a 30 percent alcohol drink and then you have a 50 percent alcohol drink so an alcohol drink would have 30 alcohol and 100 water and this one would have 50 alcohol and 100 water and then you can mix these two mixtures so this mixture will give you let's say you take 100 ml of of this mixture and 200 ml of this mixture the 100 ml of this mixture will give you 30 alcohol and 70 water i'm sorry this is not 100 water this is 70 and this is against 50 water i'm sorry so 30 alcohol and 70 water and this one will give you 50 percent of 200 that is 100 alcohol and 100 water so in total you will have 130 alcohol and 170 water so this would be 130 by 130 plus 170 that is 130 by 200 or 65 plus or sorry 300 and that would be 3 43.34 percent so this is how uh, uh, mixtures are made and this is the you know the basic calculations in mixture so any mixture problem for that matter can be solved by by doing this by by so so the main solvent uh, the the main component in the mixture is called a solute which is which is most of the times alcohol or sugar or salt or something like that and the other one is called the solvent and which is most of the times water so any mixture problem can be solved by getting the value of the solute in that uh, solution or that mixture and then you get this uh, the same thing for the other mixture and then you add the solutes and then you add the solvent and then you make it the numerator and the denominator is the solute plus the solvent 
so this is what you uh, usually do so but we are gonna do it uh, uh, differently today so so if, if you if you are okay with this concept let's move on to the next page here uh, where I'll demonstrate you a problem okay how to solve a problem now this problem is a mixture contains wine and water in the ratio 3 is to 2 so this is a mixture another contains wine and water in the ratio 4 is to 5 so here you have two mixtures two mixtures are mixed okay so very rarely you would get uh, you know pure uh, ingredients mixed uh, it will always be 99% of the times they'll always be two mixtures or three mixtures which are being mixed so this is uh, you know fairly common on the GMAT so there are two mixtures uh, we'll call them A and B now uh, the question is asking another contains wine more in the ratio how many gallons of the latter latter is this one must be mixed with three gallons of the former so former is three to two so that the resulting mixture may contain equal quantities of wine and water okay so now uh, okay so first let's get something straight to to uh, my technique to use my technique what you have to first do is certainly label the mixture so write down a and write down B then write down ratio write down quantity and then write down strength okay then again st strength write down 3 is to 2 because that is the strength of the mixture this is 4 is to 5 but this is not the actual strength so what we'll write is 3 by 5 and not 3 is to 2 because 3 is wine and water is 2 but the mixture is actually 3 wines in 5 of the mixture so it's 5 comes from 3 plus 2 so the strength of the mixture is 3 by 5 into 100 which will give you the percentage it will be 60% and this strength would be 4 by 9 4 upon 4 plus 5 so this strength is with respect to wine here and this is almost always the case because you don't write the strength in terms of water you can totally write it and you can solve it but this is this is uh, not the usual way this is not the scientific way of doing it so what we'll do is always write with respect to this salute with respect to the main ingredient there so wine is the main ingredient here so that would give us 3 by 5 and 4 by 9 we won't be writing 3 to 2 again because this is not correct because this is not the strength so we'll straight away write 3 to 5 3 by 5 and 4 by 9 so this is the first item which we write then the second item we will write is the quantity okay so how many gallons of the latter so we don't know the quantity of the latter b so we'll write it as x we know the quantity of the former which is 3 gallons so which we'll write here 3 now okay so this is what you have to do every time then you have to draw these two lines and then you have to write the concentration or the strength of the resulting mixture here which is which they're asking is may contain equal quantities of wine and water so now a mixture which contains wine and water in, in equal quantities the concentration will be one by two because it will have one parts of wine in one parts of wine plus one parts of water so one by two now what you do is now draw these two lines again and now what we'll do is subtract three by five half from three by five and we'll subtract 4 by 9 from half so this goes this way and this goes this way okay so half minus and half 3 by 5 minus half and half minus 4 by 9 so this comes here and this comes here so the order order of this is so as to make it a positive quantity so we won't be writing half minus 3 by 5 because that will give us a negative quantity so we'll write 3 by 5 minus half on the other hand we'll always have the reverse thing so it will be half minus 4 by 9 now compute this so half minus 4 by 9 would be 18 this would be 9 this would be 8 this would be 1 by 18 and this one would be 10 6 5 so 1 by 10 now 
the ratio so now you compute 1 by 18 and 1 by 10 so the ratio becomes 1 by 18 is to 1 by 10 you can also write it down as 10 is to 18 because these are reciprocal so the re ratios become inverse and you can also simplify it to 5 and 9 so the ratios become 5 is to 9 so now the trick is that the quantities will also be in the same ratio so 3 is to x will be equal to 5 is to 9 so x will be equal to 3 into 9 by 5 this will be 27 upon 5 and this will be 5.4 so x you get is 5.4 so you get the answer okay now let's go over this concept once again so you write ratio quantity strength you write a and b you write the strength as 3 by 5 4 by 9 you write the uh, resultant strength here half then you subtract 3 half from 3 by 5 and 4 by 9 from half and you write these quantities down here now take 1 by 18 to a 1 by 10 to b and then compute the ratio which comes out to be 5 is to 9 so the trick is that 3 is to x will also be 5 is to 9 so you get x is equals to 3 to 9 by 5 which gives you 5.4 if you have if you don't understand this step this is 3 by x is equals to 5 by 9 and so we get this okay now let's